Adele's been making headlines lately for her major weight loss transformation and clearly she's been keeping on track during this global quarantine. But where has she been staying? If you've ever been curious as to where the singer calls home, she not only has a few properties in her native country of England, she spends the majority of her time in none other than Beverly Hills, where she also has two mansions. Adele is a British singer-songwriter born in Tottenham, London and at the time of this recording she's just turned 32 years old, which we know from her latest Instagram post that went viral. She's famous for her amazing voice and talent and the awards and accolades she's gotten throughout her career is a list way too long to name. To get an idea, Adele has collected 15 Grammys alone and even an Academy Award for Best Original Song in a Movie. Adele's Hollywood success has afforded her quite the life of luxury, but she definitely had a humble beginning. Far cry from her living situation these days, at age 11 her and her mother moved to South London and lived in a modest flat above a discount store. These days the space has been converted into a restaurant. Adele spoke about the area at the beginning of her career, saying, me and my mom and our flatmate live above a shop next to a garage. It caught fire a couple of months ago. Nevertheless, it's rumored that she wrote Hometown Glory in their snug apartment inspired by the tight-knit South London community. Adele's current net worth is estimated at $190 million and with that, she's built up a more expansive real estate portfolio than you may have thought. She's quite private about her family life and most of her properties are tucked away on private roads or gated communities, but she currently owns at least four. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another Another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where Adele calls home and it's thought she splits her time between London and Los Angeles, owning two homes in each city. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Jennifer Aniston and Gigi Hadid and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I need you to let me know who to do next down below so be sure to leave me some comments. Now let's get into this video. Before Adele started investing in some properties of her own in 2011, she rented a massive mansion in West Sussex that looked as if it were out of a movie. Located in West Sussex in the south of England, this historic county used to be a medieval kingdom, so it's not surprising her house had that same vibe. To me, that's a dream home because I love anything from the medieval era. Anyways, this palace cost Adele about 20k per month to rent, but it was massive with 13 bedrooms and was set on 25 private acres of land, so I'm not surprised. The remote location of the home in the middle of the countryside was a big attraction for Adele at the time since her career was rising to the top. Also named Lock House, the grounds around the mansion extended as far as the eye can see with grassy lawns, large trees and areas of light woods even. There were also gorgeous and uncompromised views of the South Downs National Park from the property. The dwelling offered Adele a much needed escape from the busyness in London. At the time she even told Anderson Cooper she was living there for safety due to the extensive privacy of the home. The classic mansion had traditional wood paneled walls, Persian rugs and was the ultimate country retreat. Built in 1900 the property kept much of the Art Deco touches from the 1930s, but the interior still offered all the usual modern upgrades. There were plenty of rooms to hang out in from the living rooms, library and billiards room. Other features included an indoor swimming pool, tennis courts and even a helicopter pad. Despite Adele loving the seclusion of this home and feeling safe thanks to electric gates, she decided to move away from the country manor in 2012. When it was put on the market in 2018, it was listed at $9.8 million. In 2012, Adele would buy Muse House in Kensington, which is an affluent area in the west end of central London. The townhome cost her about $7.1 million, and then she went on to purchase the house next door for just a little over $6.6 mil. Her plan was to knock the two through and make one large house. Adele is quite private with where she lives, and for that reason, there aren't many photos of her home in Kensington. But after she moved in, a neighbor explained, She moved in a couple of months ago. She has renovated the whole place and even installed bulletproof windows. I wonder if that's because she loves her privacy so much. We also know that the Kensington Muse house has four bedrooms, but I'm unsure if that was before or after renovations. Her house includes a display cabinet in which her Oscar for the song Skyfall is housed, along with the sparkly Burberry dress and Louboutin silver platform pump she wore for her performance. Adele's also been spotted at the nearby Chelsea Harbour Design Centre looking at high-end designer couches and furnishings. 
She definitely used to spend most of her time at this home with her son Angelo and still does while she's in England, but she seems to have a thing for Beverly Hills living these days and had her eyes set on the US. In 2016, Adele bought her first luxury home in America that she still owns today for $9.5 million. This house is tucked away in a celeb filled enclave of Beverly Hills, which we know is one of the most notorious and elite neighborhoods in Los Angeles. More specifically, it's in the gated community called Hidden Valley. Some of Adele's famous neighbors here include Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, Cameron Diaz, BFF Jennifer Lawrence, and more. Her house spans just under 6,600 square feet of living space and has four beds and six baths. There's a double height entryway and large staircase when you walk in, and throughout the home there are plenty of windows, glass French doors, and beam ceilings. There's a light-filled formal dining room, spacious eating kitchen with large island that connects to one of the family rooms and additional breakfast area, as well as extra living areas, one with a grand piano. The formal living rooms both have fireplaces, there's also a spacious office with built-in desk and a second floor library loft with vaulted ceilings. Adele's master bedroom here has a gorgeous ensuite bath, two walk-in closets and even a bonus room. The fully gated property is perfectly private and shaded by full grown trees as well, a feature which I'm sure sold the place for Adele because we know she's into that. There's a beautiful well stocked backyard with stone terraces and a cute garden area, gazebo with porch swing, a dog run and a tree house which I'm sure are features her son and dog like. Other features outside include an outdoor dining area with grill and of course a swimming pool and spa. Of course, Adele's 2016 purchase in Beverly Hills was a beautiful home to get her started with her real estate in the US, but it wasn't enough. It seems she loved the hills so much she had to buy a second luxury property there. About a year ago, in May 2019, it was reported that songstress Adele was in fact the secret buyer of another property in the celeb packed Hidden Valley Enclave, actually directly across the street from her first home there. She dropped more than $10.6 million on the home and it sits on nearly an acre of spacious land. Inside, it spans 6,045 square feet of living space with five beds and six baths. Apparently, this newest addition to her house collection is also conveniently located next door to her estranged husband and father of her child, Simon. Perhaps it's a way to make co-parenting a lot easier. The gorgeous Hidden Valley home was built back in 1961 but has since been expanded and renovated. In fact, the original building was under 3,000 square feet so they added on plenty. Inside, you'll find high ceilings and plenty of natural light as well as white bright spaces and some sloped ceilings too. There's a large sunken living room across from a raised dining dining area and the living room features a fireplace and direct access to the patio. The place looks very California style to me. Adele's eating kitchen is complete with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops and a large center island. There's white tiled floor here and wooded cabinets. Another cozy room in the home is definitely the 2000 book library with floor to ceiling shelves built in and another fireplace. There's also a small art studio, a custom fitted crafts room, a wall to wall carpeted fitness center and a sunny home office underneath a vaulted ceiling. Privately located on the second floor of the home, you'll find Adele's impressive master suite. Here she has an additional seating area with fireplace, custom built walk-in closet and of course a spacious ensuite bathroom with jacuzzi tub. I love that bathroom to be honest. There's there's also a private terrace that overlooks the grassy landscape backyard. The look of this bedroom, much like the rest of the home, may be a little too retro looking for some, but I personally love the design. Outside on the ground, you'll find a simple yet large swimming pool with surrounding deck and plenty of trees on either side of the yard for privacy, which we all know Adele needs at any home she buys to feel comfortable. Okay guys, so that's all I've got on Adele's properties, like her two gorgeous homes in the famed Beverly Hills neighborhood and her real estate in her native country, London. I gotta say, I had no idea the woman had so many houses. What did you guys think about her places? I want to know, so be sure to tell me in the comments down below. I think she has great taste from what we could see anyways, but I really love the medieval looking mansion she used to live in in West Sussex some years back. It's so my type. On a completely different note, I know you guys are probably all also wondering about Adele's recent transformation she debuted in her latest Instagram post. Of course, this video is just about her homes, but we recently did an updated before and after on the singer too, so we'll link to that one and if you check it out, you'll get all the details on her shocking transformation and weight loss. Anyways, tell me what you liked or didn't like about Adele's homes, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see because I love reading your comments. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!